For some reason, not a lot of people are talking about this, the One Piece is literally in Wano, or some of it at least. So in chapter 1040, Big Mom says, What is it? Where is it? Some of it is in this country too, isn't it? Ugh, I'm so close. And we know that she's talking about One Piece because she was talking about Roger earlier prior to this. So the One Piece being in Wano is pretty big news and I feel like more people should be talking about this but I'm not seeing that many videos on it. Even if it's not the entirety of One Piece but if a piece of the One Piece is in Wano, I think that's big news, right? This is the closest we have ever been to the One Piece since the start of our journey. So in the 20 plus years that One Piece has been running for, this is the closest we've been to the One Piece ever. So let's talk about it. First of all, if you want more One Piece content, anime content, make sure you subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. Also, if you subscribe and turn on the post notification bell, you'll be notified when I do upload so that you can comment early. If you comment early, I have a better chance to respond. So yeah, please do so. So I'm going to talk about what I think about this and what it could possibly be, what this piece of the One Piece could be, right? So let's start, let's start with how I feel, okay? Right now, I'm actually a little bit sad, okay? I'm not going to be this honest. The reason I'm sad is because of how close we are to the end of One Piece. Literally, a piece of the One Piece is literally right with the Straw Hats right now. It's somewhere on the island, and I'm not sure. And I believe Oda mentioned that somewhere, like, during the climax of One Piece, we're going to find out what One Piece really is. And a lot of people think that's after Wano or right before Wano. So that might literally be very soon. And realizing the end of One Piece is so close is kind of saddening, right? It's it's saddening, but it's also I'm also hyped up. Like I'm also excited for the future. I want to see what's gonna happen. I want to know what the One Piece is. But once we find out what the One Piece is, all other questions in One Piece become trivial, right? For example, a small question like what Mihawk's bounty is, it will become trivial compared to what the One Piece is. So I don't think we'll find out right away because we still have to find out what Mihawk's bounty is. We gotta find out what Vegapunk looks like. We gotta go know what Green Bull looks like. There is still so much mystery to One Piece outside of the One Piece. So let's talk about all the possibilities that the One Piece could be that's located in Wano. Okay, what could this thing be that Big Mom is talking about? So the first thing I've heard a lot of people say is the Road Poneglyph. Now, this is a possibility, right? This could be what she's talking about. However, I don't think it's the case just because it's like at the end of the chapter and Oda usually like likes to put some big, you know, news at the end of the chapter. It's not the very, very end, but it's like very close to the end. Um, and Big Mom also says, where is it? Uh, what is it? Some of it is in this country too, isn't it? She, she specifically says some of it, meaning some of the One Piece. She could have said a Road Poneglyph is here too and I'm this close. Right? So clearly something of One Piece is in Wano and I really don't think it's the Road Poneglyph. So Road Poneglyph aside, what else can it be? All right, other than the Road Poneglyph, what can it really be? Honestly, I'm, I'm drawing a blank here, right? I've heard some pretty good theories, but none of them really solid. I've heard a theory that it could be a devil fruit like the Gamu Gamu no Mi, because that would make sense, right? The Gamu Gamu no Mi is currently in Wano, and we know that CP9 used to have it and used to have ownership of it, and Shanks stole it from them for some reason. So I've heard theories that it could be a, like the Gamu Gamu no Mi could be a piece to One Piece. Um, but honestly, I don't think so. I think, I think whatever it is had to have already been in One Piece prior to Luffy getting there. And apparently Oda said in 2019 that Wano arc is a story heavily related to the final chapter of One Piece. Now it all makes sense. And I got this tweet from Sandman AP, so I'll put it up on the screen. It's, it, it really is starting to make sense. I wonder what it could be. It could possibly also be Zunisha or maybe even Momonosuke, because remember, we know that Shirahoshi was an ancient weapon, so why can't Momonosuke be one? I don't know, man. There, there is a lot of theories, and we're very, 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 very close to the end of One Piece. And it's almost saddening to think of this, but I'm excited, honestly. I'm really excited. So let me know your theories down below. Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think the One Piece is? What do you guys think the One Piece in Wano is? And hey, how do you guys feel? Do you guys feel sad? Do you guys feel happy? Are you guys excited for the future? Let me know. But listen, for more One Piece content, anime content, make sure you subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. And yeah, someone also asked me what I would do after One Piece ends. I'm still going to make content, bro. If you look at my channel, I make content outside of One Piece as well. And I will still make One Piece content even after One Piece ends. Like, look, there's a lot of Naruto YouTubers that still make Naruto videos and they still do good. So even after One Piece ends, I'm still going to make One Piece videos. Probably not, maybe not as much, but still a lot. I'll still make a good amount of One Piece videos and I'll make other anime content as well. So yeah, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell and uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Peace out everyone.